Welcome everyone to the cursed video that I will never finish making due to numerous technological difficult. I almost blew it on trying to say that word, but I made it and we're going to make it. Here we go. Welcome. All right. So we're going to take a look at how I mixed my most recent cover wasteland using ML sound labs amped flagship plugin. It just came out. It is a very impressively full featured plugin. And we're going to take a look at how I did the sounds out of it. So let's go over our approach here. I've got three different stereo rhythm guitar tracks, and they all uh, play their own part in this wonderful theater. Mm. So rhythm one is our main guitar built to be kind of a versatile guitar tone. So I pulled some crazy EQ moves on this one, and that's just kind of the nature of mixing. Uh, sometimes you kind of step on your own foot and then end up where you were before. It's whatever keeps the flow going and gets it sounding good, that's the rule. This is our rhythm guitar track, and this is ML Sound Labs Amped Flagship. As you can see here, we've got a billion different amps with the different channels, which is very cool. We got a pedal board with a noise gate, a compressor, a drive, a chorus, a delay, and a reverb. Basically, you couldn't ask for any more pedals. This is everything you could need. And this is our Brownie Dirty Amp. So let's take a look at what we got. What are all these little knobs and switches, dude? Well, I'll tell you! Uh, this is a gain stage switch, so you have three different gain stage options. We've got a bass fat switch, which is a voicing switch. We've got a middle voicing switch, a treble saturation switch, three different presence frequencies to switch between, three different thump frequencies or resonance, if you so prefer, and three different master settings. Now let's take a look at something a little new. Oh yeah. We got a little something new here. It's the cab section. You can move around the mics in the cab section. We got a cool four different speakers slash cabs and a cool four different microphones to choose from. And you can mix them. Here we go. This is our versatile rhythm guitar. Running the presence a little bit hard, keeping the thump down a little bit, pushing bass. That is pretty much it. We can take a look at how it responds to uh, quieter playing. I got some real goofy dynamics here, as you can see. Let's look at this EQ here. A little bit crazy. Sorry about it. So we're pulling out a little bit of whom here. We are cleaning up some honk and then pushing a little bit of kind of the note main frequency ranges back in and then cleaning up whistle and boosting up presence. There is going to be so much presence in this video. It is every holiday of the year wrapped into one. So that is our rhythm one channel. Our rhythm two channel, I did something a little bit different than I normally would. Uh, normally for my second rhythm channel, if I'm quad tracking or double tracking or whatever it's called, I would go for a darker tone, kind of a muddier, sort of a like almost a tone that would smear the guitars together, but I did pretty much the exact opposite this time. As I was dialing through the amps and stuff, I came across this like very clear pick attack focused kind of tone, and I thought it was way too cool not to use. So we have this very crisp, clear... Now let's hear some... Like, you can really hear the definition there. A 
Okay, we've got our new dirty get your laughs out now. <laughs> and let's take a look here. So once again, three different gain stage options. Nothing crazy with the voicing switches. We've got our master pretty standard. Boosting that thump and then pulling the presence way down. Very similar here. Even pulled off a little bit more off of the cap. Very unpresency. Which, guess what? I'm going to fix that by opening the wrong track. Guess what? I'm going to fix that. Yeah! I'm putting some presents right back in. Merry Christmas, y'all. So boosting some presents there. I am pulling out some nasty guitar frequency stuff. The, that guitar is a little bit woofy. And I'm adding just the littlest bit of this back in. Just more broad than... Those very surgical little cuts. And that is a little bit of honk cleaning. And that's it. That's our rhythm guitar too. Ain't it beautiful? Ain't it beautiful? Guess what? We've only got one stereo pair of guitars left. This is our pad slash lead. I did some crazy, crazy processing on this. I'm just warning you in advance. Get ready to see some horrible, horrible EQ decisions. We're making those decisions because this is supposed to sound like a polished, Rock mix. So you got to do what you got to do. As far as I'm concerned, I'm still showing off the amp, but I do want to put some EQ cuts where I want to put them. So the idea behind this track is to add in some texture and then force that little melody into the verse bit. So our verse bit. As you can hear, we're really pushing that mid. And then when we get over to our chorus, nice and gainy, very dynamic response. All right. And this is our third amp, Double J Dirty. Just about mid gain. Pulling back on presence a bunch and then boosting up the, uh, the middle range. And then I've got the master turned way up so that we get that nice mid focus pulling the presence down sort of a thing. That happens when you drive the power amp tubes. So I've warned you and now we're here. Gasp! That is pretty ugly. Cleaning a bunch of that low end out. Dealing with some of those lower frequencies and then really boosting up the honk range. We've been cleaning up the honk range in the other guitars, kind of leaving the space for this. Uh, and then boosting up presence again. You know why? <laughs> because. No reason. That pretty much does it for this little fella. We get our nice mid poke out in the mix. And using a lot of latitude if we don't uh, clean up that bass range there. So that's our three guitars. Now we've got just a few other things to jump in and take a look at. You may have noticed in the very beginning of the song, I used a little bit of reverb. So I'm a big fan with rock songs. Throw just a little bit of like pretty tiny room reverb. It makes it feel a little bit more live. And there's just something about hearing the space of a room filled up. That's just really enjoyable. So that's it for that. That's that little guitar channel. Now.
here comes the most egregious and terrible, terrible mixing. It's not that bad. This is what's happening on our rhythm guitar bus. So a rhythm guitar bus, I sent rhythm one and two to this channel right here. And I'm doing some stuff. So here I am cleaning out more of that honk, a little bit of squawk and some whom. That's it there. Jumping over to this SSL channel. Guess what? Throw you for a big loop. Huge 6 dB boost right at 10K. Even more presents. Let's go. Happy Hanukkah. Oh, yeah. From there, we jump over to Fab Filters Pro C2. And what I'm doing with this is side chaining our entire guitar rhythm signal to the snare drum. So when the snare drum hits, it ducks the guitars just a little bit, it makes the snare drum feel a lot bigger. I just hit my mic. I'm sorry about that. That is the idea there. One last thing here, Fab Filters Pro MB, and I am compressing the low frequencies in these guitars to kind of deal with the palm mutes. And that's it. All in all, very impressed with ML Sound Labs amped flagship. Shimp? Flagship. It's a flagship! <laughs> all in all, very impressed with ML Sound Labs amped flagship. Solid, versatile, enjoyable. It feels nice. It sounds nice. It probably smells weird because it's modeling amps. Amps are all like old and in basements and stuff. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I have more tutorials that are like this. If you want to support content like this, you can join my YouTube membership or my Patreon homies. And you can get videos a day early. Song stems, you can get some tabs. You can get some behind the scenes footage. You get access to a little Discord bud. Uh, press a, um, if you're, if you're still here, for whatever horrible reason, please consider pressing the like button and you'll make my day. And I'll say thanks. I'm Drusif. Be safe. Be good. Be well. Hugs and high fives. Y'all have a great day. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs>